Madagascar's cool fresh water and inexpensive labor has inspired the production of the luxurious caviar. Three French entrepreneurs set up the farm. Today, they produce rubber caviar with 300 tons of fish from six different sturgeon species. The day we produced the first caviar in Madagascar was a real relief because in the southern hemisphere, as I said, there are few farms. The second point is that no one has tried the experiment before to produce sturgeons in Madagascar. We could have had a bad caviar, we were not sure. So when we saw that the product was excellent and that Malagasy Tewa really managed to transmit this level of excellence into the product, it was a great relief. Uh, Asipensa employs between 250 and 300 locals depending on the season. It produced its first batch in 2017. What's particular with this caviar? It's very subtle in the mouth, buttery, and it will combine well with products from Madagascar, like seafoods. Locals are thrilled to work in the caviar industry. When I finished studying, I didn't think I would work in this caviar industry. At best, I thought I would work with shrimps or flagship products from Madagascar. And now I'm working on something that is unique in Madagascar, but also in Africa. I'm very proud. Caviar sells for up to 780 US dollars per kilo in plush French restaurants.